Hi friends, welcome to all. In this video, we will discuss about the network layer. Also, we will see IPv4 header format. Okay, before coming to this topic, friends, if you are watching our channel first time or if you like to get this type of technical videos in future, consider subscribing. Also, don't forget to enable that bell icon near to the subscribe button so that you will get a notification message whenever we upload a new video. Okay, coming back to our topic, the network layer. Network layer uses four processes. Addressing end devices, encapsulation, routing, de-encapsulation. Coming to the first process that is addressing entity devices. So all the entity devices must be configured with the IP address. I mean with a unique IP address for the identification on the network. Next is encapsulation. Usually the network layer encapsulates the PDU which come from the transport layer into a packet. And during encapsulation process, uh, they add IP header information uh, such as um, source IP address, destination IP address, etc. Next process is uh, routing. Uh, when we want to uh, send a packet uh, to a destination, uh, it should travel uh, through uh, networks. Also, that packet must be processed by a router. We know that the role of our router, uh, it is to select the best path and direct packets towards its destination. And usually when a packet travels through networks, it may cross many intermediary devices before reaching the destination. So every time this packet must be processed by those intermediary devices. The last process is a de-encapsulation. So once the packet arrives its destination, uh, that packet will be de-encapsulated. That means the destination host check the IP header of the packet received and if that header matches, the IP header is removed from the packet. That is called de-encapsulation. Okay, now we will go to network layer protocol. Actually, there are many network layer protocols exist. But these are the only two network layer protocols that are commonly used in our network. They are IPv4, Internet Protocol version 4, and IPv6, Internet Protocol version 6. Anyways, we will discuss more about these network layer protocols, IPv4 and IPv6, in future videos. So, stay tuned. Now, we will see the characteristics of IP. First one is IP is connectionless. No connection is established before a data packets sent. Next is best effort. Packet delivery is not guaranteed as IP is unreliable. And third one is a media independent. Data can carry through any medium such as copper, fiber or wireless. Right, now we will see IPv4 header format. Here we can see different fields version of 4 bits, header length of 4 bits, types of service of 8 bits, total length of 16 bits, identification of 16 bits, then a 3 bit flag 0, DF and MF, then 13 bits of a fragment offset, then a TTL of 8 bits, protocol 8 bits, header checksum 16 bits then we have a 32 bits each source IP address destination IP address and finally options now we will see each field one by one first of all we will see version 4 bit field that indicates the IP version used it contains the value 4 in binary 0 1 0 0 Next field is a header length. It is a 4-bit field. Header length contains the length of the IP header. Next is a types of service. Types of service field is used to determine the priority of each packet. It is used for a quality of service. Next field is a total length. Total length gives the total length of the datagram. It contains the size of data and header length. Next field is identification. 
It is a 16-bit field. It contains an identification number for a fragmented IP datagram. This identification is useful for the reassembly of fragmented PDUs. Next, we will see a 3-bit flag. First of all, we will see DF, that is a do not fragment. When a do not fragment bit set to 0, then allows a devices to fragment the datagram if required. When do not fragment bit set to 1, then devices not allowed to fragment the datagram. Next is MF bit, that is a more fragment. When more fragment bit set to 0, then the datagram is the last fragment in the set. When more fragment bit set to 1, then more fragmented datagram are following. Now we will go to fragmented offset. Fragment offset is a 13-bit field. This field indicates the position of fragmented PDUs in the unfragmented datagram. Next field is a time to live. This field indicates the lifetime of a packet. The purpose of TTL is to prevent the packet from looping around forever in the network. Next field is protocol. Uh, this is a 8-bit field. The protocol field defines the type of data found in the data portion of the packet. Next is a header checksum. Header checksum is a 16-bit field. It checks and monitors communication errors of the header. Next is a source IPv4 address. It contains a 32-bit binary value that represents the source IPv4 address of the packet. The source IP address is always a unicast address. Next is a destination IP address. It contains a 32-bit binary value that represents the destination IPv4 address of the packet. The destination IP address can be a unicast, multicast or broadcast address. And here is the last field that is options. This is the last field in the packet header and is used for additional information like record route, source routing and padding. Right, so we seen all the fields in this IPv4 header format. Okay, so friends, uh, in this video we have seen the network layer. Also we have seen IPv4 header format and it's a different fields. Now friends, if you have any doubt, any suggestions, please comment below. Also, if you like our video, give a thumb and share with all your friends. Stay tuned and we will meet again with the next video. Thank you.